It's really sad actually because every main high street within the UK used to have a fabric shop once upon a time and unfortunately I think that, that the time of the fabric shop is over. I'm Kavish Tanner. I am the Managing Director at Discount Fabrics Limited. In terms of my career, I've spent quite a decent amount of time working in the city, so I used to be a management consultant once upon a time. After that, I had a specific career in technology and e-commerce as a strategy consultant within those businesses. Given that that's my professional career, I come from a family business background, so we've kind of got a a bit of a heritage in the fabric trade, so I wanted to put all of my experience together to see what I could do full time. And I've been in a situation where I've seen my dad kind of make his own luck in life. Everything that he has, has he's worked for himself. So kind of linking that back into my career, I kind of had this consulting background. I had this technology and e-commerce background. That's what kind of led me to kind of put it all together. And I know I was not going to be successful unless I did it myself. And there's there's no there's no cheat sheet for that unfortunately. We sell on all the main online channels within the UK and Europe. We want to be in a situation where we have ever increasing share on our own website. I think every retailer wants to be in that situation. However, that's not to say the other channels are bad. They are incredibly valuable. They are incredibly useful to a small business owner. Amazon wasn't my first channel. The reason it wasn't my first channel was because it's quite daunting. I didn't have time to make epic product descriptions or take epic imagery. I knew from my career how important that is for conversion rates on page. I knew that, but I'm I've got 10 other things to do. It was clear to me where my required core competencies to run a business like this were not fit for purpose. I knew there were some gaps. This is when we kind of got in touch with Sell Beyond. I'd been following Sell Beyond for a long time. I really liked Heloise's view on in effect thought leadership, really putting herself out there, which I think a lot of other consultants are just scared to do, and I say this from a consulting background. What they don't recognize is that's one of the most critical things potential clients look for. I kind of joined a few webinars that Heloise led, um, generally researched about Sell Beyond, and I thought, these guys sound like they know what they're talking about. It seemed very credible to me. Even at that point though, I, I wasn't quite convinced because it was a big investment for us. But what I've also learned in my career was, how do you, you know, prove the concept? So I got together with Selbion and I said, let's prove the concept together. That way it was a win-win. And that's how I think partnerships work. No one wins by themselves in this life. And I think, in effect, using things like that as an inspiration to, to build business is not a bad place to start. I knew what I think I wanted my business to look like, all channels, all everything involved. I knew what role I think Amazon had to play in that. I was then able to kind of have these like target-led conversations and performance-led conversations with Sell Beyond. I'm really happy because from the benefit of hindsight, I can say we achieved all of our goals. Those goals were ambitious, but Discount Fabrics and Sell Beyond are ambitious companies. I learned more from working with Sell Beyond in addition to the work that they did. I learned more about myself, I learned more about my business, I learned more about different things than just the scope of work. But what else I learned around it and going through that process, I think has been completely game changing for us. I was really, really happy and reassured that there are some extremely talented individuals who are willing to work with companies of varying different sizes, 
give you the time of day, come to it with the intellectual expertise that is required and a really high level of project management skills. It was really reassuring to know that that exists in the real world.